Everybody experiences uncomfortable feelings, memories or thoughts. It's normal to get sucked into the negative stuff that goes on in our minds and fixate on what it all means. After a bad day in school, you might get the idea that I'm not very bright. You might even feel that this negative idea accurately reflects who you are as a person. This way of interpreting the things that go on in our minds can make us feel pretty bad. So maybe there's something else we can do. One option is to take a step back from these experiences and interpret them for what they really are. They are simply some of the many random thoughts and memories and feelings that have popped into your brain that day. Because that's exactly what brains do. They're always reasoning. They're always remembering. When you take a step back, you might notice things differently. While you're thinking you're not very bright right now, maybe you'll notice that you beat yourself up when you tend to underperform. Or instead, you might notice that you've felt this way before and it went away after a while. Stepping back helps us to see the bigger picture. And for a long time, psychologists have thought that this is a really important ability. But we gave it a name, psychological decentering. There haven't been many attempts to put all the information on this topic together into the one place. So that's exactly what we wanted to do for our key ingredients project. And we learned some interesting things. Decentering is an ability that begins at an early age and is strongly associated with mental health and well-being across our development. This is because decentering makes those negative experiences a little lighter, and in doing so, reduces the risk of anxiety and depression. We also learned that it can be a tough skill, and not everyone's great at it, but that's okay, because like other skills, decentering can be improved with practice and with time. In fact, a lot of psychological programs already exist to strengthen our ability to dissenter. Moving forward, we think it's important to discover ways to boost young people's ability to dissenter. This might help promote well-being and happiness, and we're excited to explore this interesting area further. <laughs>